Hey, what's up, guys? It's. <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce my own name. Well. What is this guy doing? So, yeah, as you can probably read from the title, I did Duolingo for a thousand days straight. And I can almost hear a guy's thoughts saying, Do you even have a social life, bro? Well, I got none. <laughs> Imagine a day like any other when I stumbled upon the magical realm of Luadingo. Hmm. Little did I know it would become a necessity. Like once you reach like 500 streaks, you're, you're not no, you're not getting out of it. It's now part of your life. That aside, do you know what your average 12 year old would do when it has too much free time? Yeah, that's right. Raw ghoul, Roblox. As you can see, you can describe the gameplay as very exhilarating and a fun. I grinded for hours and hours trying to get that S S S S O and made my first YouTube video on the game. And each day I would grind, grind on Rogo and turn once I got what I wanted. I hopped onto different games on Roblox. And you can tell I was pretty bored at the time. But soon I met with the real catalyst, which is discovering anime. Thus I started learning Japanese on Duolingo. You can say that language learning is my hobby and I learn languages for fun. That's pretty lame story, but fast forward to present, where I'm 60 now, but guess what? I'm in crippling depression because of the kanjis. So learning Japanese alphabet goes like this. Oh, this is pretty simple. Oh, well, this is also pretty simple. Oh, and then kanji, the final boss, and goes from 0 to 100 in a blink of an eye. But don't get fooled by the easier ones. Like, they're just the distraction for catching a prey, a clueless dude like me. Yeah, that's what happens when you skip your Duolingo. Still questioning why kanji exists, there's also the need for learning many things like Keigo, Norfolk, and sentence structure, which Duolingo kind of lacked, to be honest. But you know what? My listening skills soared when I started binge watching. I was watching like 12 to 20 episodes per day. I was glued to the screen, like I would watch anime during doing everything from eating to cleaning the house, taking a shit and even when sleeping. Now that last part was a joke but you get the point. But there is also a downside. It gives you EXP partially. While you'll level up your listening and a tiny bit of speaking as you commit more time, but reading and writing you'll be starting from scratch and that's kind of it's kind of unbalanced. So that's where Duolingo comes in. It'll actually teach you the basics from the beginning but but the more you go, it becomes unorganized and it teaches textbook Japanese. Like you would never say this sentence in, in real life. さっきから日本語を勉強したと言うけど、今ビデオの最後に話しますよね。なんか気持ち悪くなったらすぐクリックを押してください。えっと、初めて色々な上々の身も見て、うわ、これかっこいいな。いつかこれと同じく and finally, on my grand thousandth day, I decided to take the Japanese proficiency test, GLPT, which measures your overall Japanese level. It is tested across five different levels, with N5 being the easiest and N1 being the hardest. And I'll be giving the N3 test this year, and once the results are out, I'll let you guys know. So was the journey worth it? Did it help me learn Japanese? I would say yes because it's kind of fun, especially with Japanese because you have anime, unlike other languages. Please, sabar kara, sarakabar, sabar kara, sarak, sarakab, whatever.